Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to a long overdue minor update video. In these videos, this is where I go outside of the norm of my normal Asana and pipe drive videos and I take you behind the scenes and I just share what I'm working on in my business and some personal updates as well. And it's just my way of connecting with you and kind of taking you inside what I'm working on and, and explaining a little bit about how I do things. And it's actually been a while since I did my last minor update video. Actually, I was when I was planning this video, I looked back at the last one, which was around the time that our son Murphy was born and he's going to be two in June. So it's actually it's been a while since uh, I've made one of these videos. And so, I mean, some stuff has changed in the last couple of years, but a lot is still the same. I'm still focusing on uh, providing Asana and Pipedrive support to customers, you know, helping them set up and get the most out of these tools. My team has grown a little bit in the last couple of years. I've got um, kind of one or two extra contractors working with me. And most recently, actually, I, I mentioned this on my podcast fairly recently, I've hired an assistant who has really helped me to start getting back some time um, as she's been taking on some admin work. She's been helping to organize my email, responding to customers, managing follow-up and things like that for me as well. And this came about actually as a result of reading uh, Dan Martell's book, Build, uh, Buy Back Your Time, um, which I read uh, last year. And in the book, he talks about how you as a business owner can slowly, you know, put steps and systems and people in place to slowly remove yourself from the business. So one of the ways you can do that is by having an assistant to manage your email, your calendar, do administrative tasks, and then you can bring people into your team to do sort of client or service work that you do. You bring on people to help with sales, marketing, and then eventually you can sort of, you know, float away and disappear into the background where you can just sort of oversee everything that's going on. And so I've had faith on my team helping me since uh, end of last year, or really since kind of the start of January. And it's just been such a fantastic, positive change for me, having someone who can be looking into things, responding to emails, making sure clients are happy while I'm unavailable. Maybe I'm on a Zoom call or I'm out of the office. So it's uh, it's really been a nice kind of mental burden that's been lifted, but also just really helped me to buy back some time <laughs> uh, as well. And another sort of key takeaway from that book was the importance of having really good documented um, SOPs. So I've been writing in Google Docs and you can see just here, just the table of contents sort of gives you an idea of how big this document is. But this is where we outline how to complete certain tasks, you know, from booking calls with me and my team to um, updating contacts in Pipedrive, schedule, how to schedule my calendar, um, setting up meetings, rules for responding to emails, out of office procedures, common types of emails and how to respond. So this is a really comprehensive document that basically means whatever type of task I give you, the instructions to do so should be in here. And that's this has been a really great way to make sure we're following a consistent process every time. And should I ever need to replace Faith in the future? Not that that's by any means the plan, she's doing a fantastic job, but I have everything written down that we can easily refer back to when we can refine this over time. And so I've actually been doing this in other areas of my business as well. So I've got this consultant SOP. So I recently hired a new consultant onto my team. She was the first one actually to go through this SOP document where it explains how we book calls, um, how to conduct meetings, the agenda to follow, how to follow up, how to respond to clients, what booking links to use. And so this whole exercise has been really useful to me because it's really helped me to actually get a lot of our processes documented on paper up until now, it's kind of all just been in my head. And I think this is really allowing me to lay the groundwork for future growth, for bringing additional people into the team in a really seamless way. Something else I've been slowly working away at in my business is I am starting to rebrand away from poolminers.com, which is my domain, my website I, I operate under at the moment. And I've been you know, operating under poolminers.com since I started my business in kind of 2015, 16. Uh, so now I'm rebranding. The new website is going to be minerco.com. So still kind of linked to Pool Miners, but I'm trying to remove the Pool Miners part of the brand. Um, so it's going to be Minerco going forwards. And again, this is partly to align with that vision of being able to have not the business be completely dependent on me. It isn't about me. I want to have a team and systems in place so that I can step into the background, the, the business doesn't me need me to survive or to operate on a daily basis. So this rebrand will be part of that shift. 
And one of the consultants, Lindsay, on my team, who is, uh, she does some of my Asana and Pipedrive support calls, um, but she's also a graphic designer, and she's done an excellent job on the new Minaco logo. Um, so you can see it's kind of got this tick symbol, uh, which kind of has that link to productivity and getting things done. So this is the new uh, logo we'll be using. She's also got um, kind of brand colors and a color scheme ready to go. So we'll be using these colors on the new website. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to making that change. It's going to be a big change for me, um, but I think it's going to lay the path for um, kind of what we want to achieve in the future. Probably the biggest thing going on in my life right now is uh, we're actually building a house, which is something I mentioned, I think in my last minor update, which was about two years ago. We, that was actually when this whole process started. I think back then we, we hadn't even purchased the land yet. Um, it, it took a bit of time, number one, to get comfortable with making uh, a commitment and deciding to proceed with, with doing this because it's, it's a big project. Um, and so in June 2022, uh, we purchased the land, uh, we settled at the end of the year, and then all of last year, 2023, we were basically getting the working drawings done, going through building and resource consent. So it felt like nothing happened last year, although a lot was happening. And then in November last year, we broke ground and started digging uh, the driveway. We're now out of the ground. And the team at David Reed Homes who we're using are doing a fantastic job. They've accomplished a huge amount in the first quarter of this year. Um, it's kind of the final week of March uh, this week. And they've dug and retained 80 meters of driveway. We've done a lot of um, uh, retaining work to build the ground floor where our garage and we're going to have a home gym where that's going and then it's kind of stepping up through the land and we've done some some excavation and retaining for the top floor we've got a subfloor framing and roof on on the top floor now so in three months they've made a massive amount of progress and it's really exciting especially after waiting so long um, to actually be able to walk around that upper level now and be able to really feel the space um, so we are hoping that by the end of this year fingers crossed all going well we will be in if we can be in by Christmas, that's going to be uh, amazing, an amazing result. Um, we've done pretty well so far. The weather's been good, so that hasn't held up the project. And I think if we have a few more weeks of good weather and we can get the house sealed up, we'll be looking hopefully really good to be moving in by the end of this year. In preparation for this big move, we actually have just sold the house that we're living in now. Um, so we sold at auction about two weeks ago, uh, partly because we just want to have one less thing to do at the end of the year. We'd rather get out now, be ready to move into the new house when it's ready, rather than having a big rush of things to do at the end of the year. So that's really exciting. Um, it's sort of one more thing off the list that we need to do. And so we'll be moving out of this house in a couple of weeks, actually, um, which is kind of bittersweet. Um, it's, it's good because we're making progress towards getting to our dream home. But, um, you know, this office that I'm in right now, I've been working in for kind of the last four or five years. This is where I've really built my business. Um, before living here, I was still sort of a solo worker, working on my own primarily. Since being here, I've grown my team. The business has really gone, gone, gotten to that next level. And um, I used to work at co-working spaces. Now I work from home all the time because I'm making a lot of video and it just works well for me being in a quiet space. And so I'm gonna miss this office. Um, I've really enjoyed being in this room. I've got my nice view outside. Although the new office is gonna be fantastic. It is, it is sad to be kind of leaving this place where I've um, grown a lot as a person and in my business as well. So yeah, with that, expect my YouTube background to change. Um, unfortunately, for the, the next few videos, uh, I'll, I'll try and do my best to have a nice background in the new rental where we're gonna be renting. Um, and then I'll get to my new office um, later this year and I'll get that set up. And uh, I'm really looking forward to making that a really nice, cool space that, that's mine and um, just making that a really cool space to work from. So I think that's it for this minor update. We're going away this weekend, going camping for Easter weekend, um, which is kind of the last opportunity for this summer because um, it's the it's autumn now here in New Zealand and it is starting to get a little bit colder. So we're gonna go and enjoy the final parts of summer this weekend. And then we'll be back to um, finishing packing the house and moving out of the house in the next couple of weeks. So we timed that really well, uh, going away camping just before we move. But anyway, it is what it is. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you find these minor updates interesting. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will see you in the next video.